Hey, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the Monday night showdown slate between the LA Chargers and Indianapolis Colts. Um, I think it's a pretty straightforward game where I kind of know, at least I think, where uh, the production is coming from, which usually makes for a kind of a difficult showdown slate because you need to somewhat get different somewhat. And I do have a couple of hoodoos that I can throw in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the main plays and then we're going to have some fun and make some builds. Um, we'll experiment with leaving different types of money uh, on the table and see uh, what we can come up with. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my uh, projections, um, which again are available for premium subscribers um, on TrueDFS. This was for today's showdown slate somewhere okay so again we didn't we didn't really project all that many guys today um i'll put it up over here sorry uh, about 22 guys total um and i'm listing them by sheets value score so when you listen by sheets value score you are going to get like the cheapos that are really going to stand out which is kind of cool because at least it'll it'll tell me which guys to kind of be on the lookout for so you'll already see that the cheapos that to me are the, going to be the ones you want to consider are Mo Ali Cox and Donald Parham. Um, but we'll kind of get back to that. If you want to talk about game scripts, which I think is kind of overrated, um, I guess the Chargers are you know a decent sized favorite, so you, you'll probably want to play more of them than Indianapolis. Certainly makes sense to me. Um, but, you know, it's, there, there are variations where Indianapolis wins. So, again, I, I think about this a lot, and I, and I talk about this a lot. You have a situation where the, the Chargers, say, a six-point favorite. But what people in showdown tend to do is they really only build one side of the ledger, um, one side of the game script. Like, you're going to see people say, okay, since the Chargers are six-point favorites, we're going to build it like the Chargers are a 14-point favorite you know, or something like that where you won't necessarily see that many builds with Indianapolis at pick them. And the thing is, is that it's just as likely that the, that the spread is off, you know, that, that Indianapolis out, out scores the spread by seven as it is for the chargers. But however, in showdown, for whatever reason, um, people usually take kind of one side of this. And this kind of goes with respect to totals too. Like sometimes when there is a really big total, you know, let's say there's like a 52 total. People will play it as if it were 59, but nobody will play it as if it's a 45. Um, so in this particular game, you can make the argument that most people are going to play this like it's a Chargers type slate, where it is some amount of the time, but there's also some amount of the time where it's a Colts type slate, just because of the way it works, you know, just because of the way probabilities work. And I think that people from a showdown slate, you know, they 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 don't play enough of the other outcome. Okay. Um, so if you are going to play it though, from a, a charger slate, I mean, just looking at this and we'll put salaries, we'll build some lineups in a minute. I mean, Herbert and Eckler certainly rate to be, you know, two really strong plays as does Keenan Allen. Right. And then just below Keenan Allen, actually just not just below, then you have the other, then you have Mike Williams, you know, so, and then after that, more receivers, you have uh, Gerald Everett. And then if you want to get a little fancier, you go scroll down, then you get uh, Josh Palmer. And if you want to kind of pivot off of Austin Eckler, then you play Josh Kelly, you know, and that plus you have a little DeAndre Carter if you really wanted to get different, um, really want to go into the fourth, fifth receiver, and then you're into your kickers. So, I mean, it's, it's really simple. It's like build lineups. You know, you know exactly what you want to do with the charges. You didn't need me to tell you all too much of that. Um, so, for example, I mean, let's just build by hand for a minute and, you know, just see what it could look like. Again, you know, we don't really want to put quarterbacks in the in the captain if possible. So let's pick our favorite, you know, our favorite captain. We don't want to pick Allen because he's probably going to be more popular. So let's put Mike Williams in the captain just for the hell of it. And then if we want to play, say, Eckler and Herbert, let, let's play them all. Let's just, just give you an example. If you play Williams, Eckler, Herbert, and Allen, those are probably like the four highest projected players overall on the slate. Um, I mean, certainly on the Chargers. It leaves with 2,350, and you could actually do it, right? Because as I mentioned, there are some cheapos that you can kind of throw in. 
So if you want to play this way, you could play like all four of these guys like in the same lineup, and you could actually probably spend up for for Allen if you prefer. And Mike Williams will put him over here. So there's no real difference between twenty two fifty and the other one. And even if you want to spend all the way up for Eckler and Allen there, now it's a little harder, but you can certainly make it work, right? So it's it's a, it's a very soft. Well, I shouldn't say soft because it's not as if you get to play like great plays on the other side. Um, you got you have to punt. You have to play guys like Moali Cox and Donald Parham and, and guys like the guys that I mentioned. Okay, um, but at least it's something to play. But one thing that is interesting is as I I kind of look at this is that I do only have two cheapos projected and nobody like in the middle. So you probably if you wanted to build a lineup like this, you'd have to play them both or play someone I didn't talk about. So. Let's just see who else might be projected at all in between those prices. Um, Spiller? No. Granson is out. So there's really nobody in like that 1K range. Well, who is Spiller, by the way? Well, I mean, I have to say, Isaiah Spiller did have, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, he did, he did have he did have some targets. He did have some some work when Kelly was out, but now Kelly is back. Um, but I don't know. He's a rookie. Um, Charges kind of need to win, though. I think so. Uh, I don't know if Isaiah Spiller is going to really get there. So the one K, I think uh, he might end up getting into some builds just because of what I just said. Um, if you want to play all four of these guys, the only way to do that, actually, that's not the only way to do that. You don't have to play them both. I, would, I don't know what, the, what I'm talking about. Because you could play one of these other guys, like, like Alec Pierce or whoever, and then just play one of these cheapos, being be Mo Ali Cox or um, or Donald Parham. Um, so you could play all four of these guys really easily, regardless of what combination that you play. Um, again, if you want to do that, I think that's going to be a popular construction. Okay. Um what about uh, if you wanted to play in the Indianapolis uh, stack? Like if you want to think Indianapolis would do somewhat better. All right. Well, same thing. I mean, Pittman is the best play, right? And you have to play the quarterback. Um, and unfortunately, like I said, uh, what's his name? Uh, Taylor is not in. He's out for the, what, for the season. So who else do you have here? If you don't want to play, well, forget about Ali Cox for a minute. Then there's Alec Pierce, who's the next projected guy. Actually, then there's Moss. Let's just look at just pure fantasy points for a second. Pittman, Foles, Moss, Moss and Jackson. We don't know which one. I don't know if you want to play both of them. And then Paris Campbell's the next receiver. So, so like I said, there's no real salary constraints if you want to play even the most expensive guy. Um, and I, I really don't have much of a preference between either of them. Um, you still have 7,000 left that you can, that you can play. You can play Paris Campbell if you want, you know, whatever it is. So this is not, this is not a slate where you're going to be restricted from salary. If you play like these Colts guys in the captain, if you start jamming all the, all the, 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 the chargers, then you have to play the Moali Coxes and Donald Parhams. But if you play the Indianapolis guys as your main thing, then you don't have to. Then you can come back, for example, and play, you know, somebody decent on – you can play one of – you can play, play Allen, for example. And you can even play – I mean, not to say you have to play this way, but play Gerald Everett. You know what I mean? So so if you take the, the Indianapolis side and the captain, you don't even have to pay down for all that other stuff. Um, so it's weird. It, it looks like a really – extremely soft um, slate, okay, to get skill position guys. So with that said, if it's a soft slate to get skill position guys, I don't think that this is the slate to be playing the kickers. You know, I don't think this is the slate to be playing the defensive guys. Um, well, I like to play the kickers and the defensive guys, even when I'm re either when I'm really convinced it's going to be a low scoring game or where you just can't get to those other skill guys with, with the greater upside. So as I've just as I've just displayed, um, you can get to all the skill position guys without a lot of sweat, which means that I feel the kickers and the defenses are probably out of play tonight. Um, that's that is just me. Um, 
So with that said, I mean, let's just get right to it. Let's um, let's go to Sabersim. We will have Sabersim build us some lineups. And I'm just kind of wondering, without doing anything, what um, I already have them uploaded here. What type of builds we get? 150 lineups. Let's let's do no salary cap. I mean, no salary requirements. I wonder how many kickers and defenses we're going to get on this slate. I'm going to, pre- I'm, I'm, I'm presuming not much, you know, because why, why bother if you can get all the skill position guys you want? Let's see. Um. All right. So, yeah, there it is. Like in the captain, like I'm getting like three lineups with Chargers defense, like one lineup with Chargers kicker. And nothing from the other side. And in the Indianapolis side of things, I mean, in the flex, I'm getting, you know, 15% Clippers, Clippers, a Chargers kicker, 15% McLaughlin, uh, uh, Indianapolis kick, uh, kicker, and then 7% Chargers defense and like 2% Colts defense. So, uh, so Saber Sims builds are agreeing with mine. Now, again, you can make the argument that as a result of that, the kickers and defenses are going to be low owned, um, which is true. <laughs> um, but I, I still think people like to play them. I think that give that the upside you're looking for in, in all slates, not to mention a slate like this, where these skill position guys really can score. Um, I think that you want to avoid the kickers and the defenses today. Um, so again, if we build this way, you know, you're going to get a whole bunch of all of the aforementioned, you know, the, 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 the Herberts, the Ecklers, the Foles, and look at this, the Edmo Alley Cox, getting him in there. Uh, Jelani Woods. I mean, pretty much all of this. I wonder how much of the Parham I got. Yeah. Like 10% Parham. So I'm just to give you an example, like the Parham lineups, I presume it's going to jam those other dudes in. Let me see. Yeah. So it's good. Well, not really. This is actually kind of an interesting build. So this one's got, we got Parham, but it, it also throws in a kicker. See, for me, I don't think I would do that. If I were going to play Parham, it would be so I could jam in all of the other uh, skill guys. But as I said, you can't jam them all in, but Alec Pierce is someone you can really you play Alec Pierce with the, with the cheapo because Alec Pierce is like a legitimate option. You know, I think Alec Pierce is a better option than Paris Campbell, if you want to know the truth. So um, it's going to be probably for me, a lot of Pierce. Let's see what the Pierce lineups look like. Like if I'm not getting Pierce here. Yeah. Only getting, well, only like 26% Pierce, Pierce and Parham. These are the ones that I'd be expecting to get a lot of. Um, I'm getting only four. It's kind of interesting. Um, the Pearson par I, I would expect this is what you can get, right? Pearson Parham. I expect I would expect to get more of this, but I'm not for some reason. Um, okay. In any case, th- that's what my lives gonna look like. I'm gonna have a lot of Pierce with with probably with the one cheapo with, in, in those builds where I have all the skill guys, and then I'll probably be kind of little probably overweight on the Indianapolis build. When I say the Indianapolis build, I mean the Indianapolis and the captain build. Because in those builds, you don't even need to go to any of these uh, cheapos. Um, I guess that'll do it. I'm not going to be around live tonight. So you're going to, you know, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to update the projections. So this is kind of what you're going to be left with. Um, So if anybody gets ruled out, I apologize. Not my fault. And that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.